this is the time that, that we were born for. And we've been hearing about it for maybe 25, 30 years. All the New Age books, all the New Age speakers have talked about this time, that this was coming. We have a particular focus, and our focus with the grandmothers is to help return the balance between yin and yang to earth. Because these two energies, these two primal energies on earth, the energies of the great masculine and of the great feminine, are very much out of balance right now. There's too much of the energy of yang, which is the masculine principle of energy. That is the energy of action. Think about it like the right side of the body, you know, can do, 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 do. That's, that is what yang is. Uh, the energy of yin is the energy of reception, the energy of holding, the energy of nurturance, sustenance. This is what is in real depletion now. And the grandmothers say, for this change to take place, the first step must be taken by women. The reason for that is because the energy of yin is held by women fully. We hold the energy of yin for whatever reason. We are reservoirs of yin for ourselves, uh, you know, for the trees, for the earth, for the planet. And every woman who comes to this, and, uh, a kind of an offering for everything that lives. Grandmothers also call men to this work, and the men who are called do great service, and they help hold this energy <clears throat> and put it into action in the world. So a man who is filled <coughs> and supported by the energy of yin is a blessing on earth because he, he supports life. Everybody knows what the archetype of grandmother means. Uh, you know, some of us had ideal grandmothers, uh, some did not, most did not, but we know what the archetype of grandmother is. It's the one who's got her arms like this and who welcomes all the children, who welcomes the fathers, the mothers, and seeks the highest good for the whole, whole family of life. All of a sudden, here were all these old women around me, all shapes, sizes, colors, names at the crack of dawn in Laguna Beach, and I'm thinking, oh my God. What is this? I didn't know if they were physically real or, or what, what was happening to me, if I was having a dream. What, I, I experienced anything like that. Finally, I noticed that I could see through them. They were transparent, and uh, then I got really scared, so I got over it. And I listened to them, and I watched them, and I felt them. And then they came in, and they loved me, and they told me who they were and why they'd come, that the earth was in grave danger and they would not see it destroyed. So they covered me then, they said, we're gonna give you something that will awaken this energy of yin within you. And then they covered me with what was like a huge um, scarf, but it wasn't fabric, it was light. And I could feel it though, it had heft and body. And I could feel it as they wrapped me in it, and then they held me in it, and they're rocking me, and the tears are coming, and I'm trying to act normal, and I'm waving to my neighbors, and it's all happening at the same time. And they said, this call will awaken all your parts, and you will begin to bloom as the flower that you've always been and you always will be. And it was the most wonderful feeling of completion. And that is what we offer to every woman who comes to these gatherings. And to the men, we offer the cloak of comfort, so the man can also receive what it's like to be held in the energy of yin and be confirmed in his maleness. Grandmothers say that the net of light is lit by the jewel of the heart. So from your own heart, radiance flies out along the net of light. You are held in light, you are upheld in light, and you magnify the presence of light through the net of light.
in my experience in, in coming to these meetings over the past several years and reading the books, um, it allows me to, to experience a higher vibration that I normally wouldn't have um, on a day-to-day -day basis. It does me and my sense of being in the world, and it carries me through the whole day, every day. It overtakes me. It's not, it, it does raise the vibration, and I carry that throughout the day. Over the years, um, it's, that I think the subconscious has helped. So then I go on into the next, and I uh, praise the name of many forms of the divine. And then I start with the grandmothers and doing the netted light because I feel it's a very strong practice that will help the world, that it reinforces the net of light, the net of love that this planet really needs and to the core and to its atmosphere. Um, I just cast that light and I, and I feel good because I don't feel so helpless or powerless to affect the world. I actually feel that there's something that I can do. The fact that it's the grandmothers, it's not the grandmother, it's right. the grandmothers. Right. For me, the, the, the <coughs> thing that's, it makes us so much more organic. It helps me feel more like it's real rounded and it's real surrounded. Everyone in all the world. 